Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ritika Tapa, your one and only PhD mentor, advisor and trainer. And we are back with the second part of the PMRF video. PMRF or Prime Minister's Research Fellowship Scheme, which is the highest fellowship scheme currently being offered by the Ministry of Education to students who are pursuing a PhD in the area of science and technology in one of the PMRF granting institutes. In case you do not understand what is PMRF granting institute, then please do go and watch the first part of this video, sharing the link of the same in the I above. Okay, so PMRF, we have told you, is the highest paying fellowship. It gives you a fellowship amount of 70,000 rupees per month in your first and second year of PhD, followed by 75,000 rupees in your third year of PhD, and finally 80,000 rupees per month in your fourth and fifth year of PhD. It also allows you to avail a grant of 2 lakh rupees a year in your, which means that 2 lakh rupees every year you can avail. Of course, there will be a procedure for it. But if you do qualify for it, then you can avail a fellowship grant of up to 10 lakh rupees in your 5 years. So there are two ways through which you can avail this fellowship. First is the lateral entry channel, which was basically for all the students who already started the PhD program and are currently in their first year or in their second year of PhD program. This lateral entry channel we discussed in great detail in the first part of this video. To understand the lateral entry channel, please watch the first part. In this part, we are going to dedicate it to the direct entry channel. So let us start with what is the eligibility criteria for the direct entry channel. So let us start with the very first eligibility criteria which is that if you are a student of any of the IITs, IISCR, IIEST, IISC or any other centrally funded central university or triple IIT then in all these cases if you have scored in your qualifying degree a CGPA of 8 then you are eligible to apply directly for the PMRF fellowship or you are eligible to apply through the direct channel. This is the first eligibility. The next category of students who are eligible to apply are if you are a student of science and technology and you are pursuing your PhD not from any of the above mentioned institute but rather from any other government recognized institute or university, you have a CGPA of 8.5 in your qualifying degree and you have a GATE score of 650 at least or otherwise if you have a UGC JRF rank, a UGC JRF rank or any other similar eligibility examination rank amongst the top 100 then also you are eligible for a PMRF through the direct entry channel. The third criteria to be eligible for PMRF direct entry channel are those students who are currently pursuing their MS research or MTech research in one of the PMRF granting institutions. They have secured this admission after qualifying the GATE examination and have at least a CGP of 8 in their current post graduation that is MS research or MTech research then also they are eligible to apply through the direct entry channel. Of course once your eligibility is determined the next step would be to secure admission in one of the PMRF granting institutions. Secure in admission in the PhD program of one of the PMRF granting institution. Move on to the third step for the direct entry channel. There is one correction which I would like to tell you. Uh, even if you are a student of any other university pursuing your PG or your uh, BTEC or any other four-year graduation course uh, through any university which is recognized by the government of India, then also you require a CGP of 8 only in your qualifying degree. Of course, along with a GATE score of 650 or uh, either a top 100 rank in UGC JRF or any other similar eligibility examination. So, 
the direct channel students require a 8 CGPA no matter through which eligibility criteria they are going to apply to. So this was a correction uh, which I wanted to make. Okay, now once again moving ahead to the third step. Once you've secured your PhD admission in one of the PMRF granting institute, then it is important that this institute recommends you or nominates you for PMRF. Their recommendation is an important criteria without which you cannot avail this fellowship. So they would be sending your documents and giving you a strong recommendation through the PMRF portal. And then finally, based on these documentation and recommendation, you can be selected. Uh, some of the bases on which the selection is made uh, includes your research exposure, your publication, maybe even the proposal that you are uh, submitting to the institute, also your past marks and if you've uh, already qualified or if you participated in some national international level competition like Olympiad. So this is all the entire process of through the direct entry channel of PMRF. If in case you are confused that what exactly is the difference between the direct entry channel and the lateral entry channel, both of them looks look very similar, then the major difference between the two is the fact that lateral entry channel, the selection or the eligibility criteria depends on your performance in the PhD program. So once you have qualified, you have joined the PhD program, how you're performing in the coursework over there, then based on that, your selection has been made. Remember, you require, you are required to complete at least four courses, four full semester courses and get a CGP of 8.5 then only you are eligible for the lateral entry channel. However, in case of a direct entry channel, your eligibility is determined on what you have already scored prior to joining your PhD program. Also, if you are applying through the direct entry channel, your PMRF could start from the very first month of your PhD program. Whereas in case of your lateral entry channel, it will only start after six months that is once you've completed at least four full semester courses. So this is the major difference between direct and lateral entry channel. Do let me know if you have any other questions related to PMRF. Please put it them in the comment section below and I would love to answer each one of them. If you have any other questions related to PhD, then also please let us know. Remember, I am your one and only PhD mentor, advisor and trainer. And this is the only channel which is only and only dedicated to PhD. So don't forget to subscribe us, like our videos and share them with your friends and family members who are looking to do a PhD. Thank you so much for watching my video.